Hey everyone, Jay here, and in today's video I want to give you my tips on how to study the Bible for beginners. So first I want to show you my setup because I think the setup is very, very important. And I guess this would also be like tip number one is to find an area where you really enjoy studying. So I'm just on my little balcony. Um, don't mind that dying lily plant over there. I moved her outside and she does not like it. So I have my tablet. I always use my tablet instead of my phone and usually over a Bible because I just like using my tablet for the study. And then I have my two notebooks that I write in. Today I have some tea and then some pens. So that's my setup and now let's get into my other tips. Your setup doesn't have to be anything fancy. I have a privilege of having a balcony so that's great for these warmer months, summer right now. But if you don't, you know, even on, the, on your kitchen table, that's where I do it some days where it's too hot. I just bring all my stuff to my kitchen table and I do it there. Just find a spot that, you know, will allow you to be productive. I find that when I study the Bible in my bed, I am more apt to falling asleep and just not being very productive so find a space where you can be productive in and study your Bible there that's tip number one my second tip would be to open in prayer it doesn't have to be anything long I usually just say something short like God please show me what you want me to read today and just guide me in the direction that you want to take me today and just reveal to me what you want to reveal to me something very simple and you know obviously thanking him for giving you another day but opening in prayer is very important because he will guide your eyes to what he wants you to read. This third tip kind of goes along with my tip number one I kind of showed you, but it's to have notebooks and pens that you actually write in so that you're interacting with your time spent with God and it's not just like, oh, you're just reading, you know, you're just reading the Bible without, you know, taking notes because I find taking notes, one, makes it more enjoyable, two, it helps you, or me anyway, to retain more of the information and to look back during the week on the certain scriptures that I really liked and I wrote them down so I could reread them or just certain notes that I made. I find that just writing in different color pens makes it easier for me um, and you know more enjoyable. I'll show you guys. Okay so you see here all the different notes in different colors. It just makes it fun. Definitely a notebook and pens is crucial. Um, I like this one. It says fear not for I am with you. But yeah, so get a notebook. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I also have this other one that's just plain, but get a notebook, get some pens and make sure you make notes as you're doing your reading. And my last tip is to actually download the Bible app. It looks like that and start a reading plan. So this is good because if you're new and you're just like kind of lost on where to start reading the Bible and if you have a Bible in front of you or even you know mobile you might be like uh, I don't even know where to start reading so that's why Bible plans are good so I'm gonna show you so if you go down into the app and click on plans you can see all of my plans are there or you can you can also see the plans you've completed it's blurry let me focus it so all these are all the plans I've completed over the months and years and you know they're really cool so you can always go back and reread them if you like them and you can click find plans so if you're not really sure what you want to read about they have suggested topics like love anxiety healing anger and then they also have you know some ones where you can look through and kind of click on it and then it gives you a little excerpt of what to expect from the reading plan. And a lot of them, you, you can sample them also, and a lot of them are actually really short, like three days, five days, seven days. There's also some longer ones that are like 21 days or 40 days. Let's see this one, for example. Lies young woman believe. It'll look like this. You have the devotional. So it's obviously the person's opinion about what you're about to read and just giving you some scriptures on it as well. And then you click next. And then it's like a few scriptures relating to what the lady or the guy was talking about. And, you know, there's a few scriptures and it's really good because that gives you like a direction of where to start. 
So, and it gives you a topic of what something you actually want to learn about and then corresponding scriptures from the Bible that talks about that subject that you are actually interested in. So one, it keeps you obviously interested in reading the Bible. And two, if you want to go deeper into reading, because sometimes there's only like one or two scriptures that correspond with the devotional. Um, so what I like to do is I click read full chapter, uh, you know, around the scripture that they gave me. Or I'll just go off of that and then, yeah, I'll click read full chapter and then I'll read more chapters. And it's really just a good guide to giving me some direction of where to read because there's so many books in the Bible and it can be overwhelming. Even for me, I'm not a new Christian or anything, but I like to have, you know, a direction of what I'm reading and be interested in the topic because there's so many interesting stories and topics in the Bible. But depending on what time you're at in your life, sometimes certain things aren't interesting to you. So to pick it on the Bible app is really cool. So I think you should do that. I hope my tips for how to study the Bible for beginners helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as I share more, you know, faith-based videos as well as health and fitness related videos. And I hope you guys stay consistent with reading your Bible and enjoy it a lot more. Have a good one. See you soon. Bye.